The ideal time to gather sap is at the beginning of spring. The freezing and thawing cycle brings about physiological changes inside the maple trees, which triggers sap flow. Depending on the size of the tree, the maple producer taps one or two holes in the trees and inserts a spile. The spiles are linked to a vacuum collection system made of food grade plastic tubing, which delivers the sap to a pumping station. The sap is composed of about 97% water, 3% sugar and minerals. It must be boiled in order to increase the percentage of sugar, thereby turning it into syrup. 40 liters of sap are required to produce 1 liter of syrup. The sap is pumped to a storage tank in the sugar house. Many maple producers use partial reverse osmosis units, which allow them to increase the amount of sugar in the sap thus reducing the time and costs of boiling concentration. Most maple producers use a thermometer or an automatic control to monitor the boil temperature of the sap. The syrup is ready when it reaches 7 degrees Fahrenheit above the boiling point of water. They also use devices such as a hydrotherm or a densimeter or a refractometer which allow them to measure the amount of sugar or the density, which must be at least 66 degrees bricks. During the boiling process, the precipitation of minerals and composites in suspension will be removed with a filter press to produce a pure and clear syrup. The boiling time for syrup will vary depending on a number of factors, such as the quality and quantity of sap, its sugar content, and the equipment used. With the different qualities of sap harvested during the season, the syrup will taste different and have different colors. It is then poured into various containers, such as bottles, metal cans, and barrels. The barrels are then shipped to the cooperative for commercialization. Here we are at the head office, located in Plessisville since 1972.